Let me tell you a story that my scout leader told me when I was a little girl. It was 1909 in England. The city was very foggy. Mr. Voice, an American publicist, was looking for an address. He stopped under a lantern so he can read his map, when suddenly a boy appeared. Can I help you, sir? Oh, please, I'm looking for this address, said Mr. Voice. Sure, I will take you there. So they walked together, and when they were arriving to the place, Mr. Voice tried to find some coins in his pocket. But the boy said, don't worry, sir, I am a scout, and scouts help others without reward. Mr. Was, Mr. Voice was so amazed by this action that he went to the National Office of England and talked to Baden Powell himself, and then he became a scout in America. My name is Barbara Palacios. I am a scout of Ecuador and a scout for almost 20 years. The story that I told you is very important because the scouts learn that good turns are important. When you are a kid, a little one, a, a good turn is helping your parents doing house chores. When you grew up, for example, when I was 17, my scout leader asked me to make a project, to create a project that changes the world. When he told me that, in the same way I'm telling you, I answered him, no way, not even the United Nations are asked to do that. Why are you asking me that? He laughed, like you, and, <laughs> and um, I said, but he said, I believe in you, you can do that. So he gave me two weeks to create my project, and by that time, my city was devastated by fires in the forest, and I really love forest. So I was so indignated by these arsonists that love to fire the forest. Uh, so inspired by my mom's idea, I created a project uh, called Sembrando Futuro, which means, which means planting my future to, to reforest those devastated areas. I put my ideas on a paper and presented to my peers and team leader, and they destroyed it. They practically ripped it off. So because my project was an activity, not a project. A project is a sum of activities. And um, I, was devastated. I was overwhelmed, exhausted. I didn't want to continue with the project. But my scout leader was very persistent. He motivates me to improve the project after school and help me to do that. So I did it. And we started uh, training 25 people uh, of my scout group in conservation and reforestation so they can replicate information with the other people of my group. One year later, 125 people start um, to reforest one hectare with 300 trees. And um, when we finished, my scout leader said, OK, let's do this greater. How can we do that? So I love challenges. So I decided to join all the scout groups in the activity, the, the all the scout groups of my city, which was Quito. Uh, the logistics w has to be have to be greater because you have to plan transportation. I had to send letters to a lot of institutions to get resources, and uh, we get all of that. And in 2000, in 2010, one hundred. 1,000 people planted, was planting trees. I believe that the small actions inspire big dreams. So this initiative was broadcast in national media, and I started to receive a lot of calls from groups from all the country asking to join the initiative. So my project became national, and I had the support of the national office, of the Ecuador, the Scout National Office. and. Um, after that, the project became an uh, annual activity. Every year, scouts planting trees once a year. And um, four years later, we had 4,000 scouts planting trees every year. And in 2014, we thought that the project has enough credentials to be presented to the prime minister 
of the environmental minister of, the, of Ecuador. So we did a pilot with, with the minister. Uh, we planted trees in national parks. And the pilot was a success, not because of the people that participated, the, the number of people, but because the minister was so impressed about scouts, about our efficiency and passion, because we are very organized, a very organized movement. So they were so impressed that the next year, the minister decided to call the whole country in action to plant a tree. In one of the meetings, the minister that was a woman said, what if we try to beat a Guinness record of the largest number of people planting trees in one day? Can you imagine that? Um, I never imagined that. It was a great, great idea. So the government started a public campaign motivating people to do to join the, the event that day um, to, to become part of the initiative. Um, I remember that day because you can see all social media full of photos of people planting trees, schools planting trees, hospitals, companies, the army, the police, everyone was planting a tree. I remember the face of a little boy of eight years old could be, that was trying to plant a tree without breaking one of the branches of the tree and putting a name of his new planted tree. It was beautiful. So guess what? We won the Guinness record of the largest number of people planting trees at the same time. But besides the record, which is important, which really means or, or is important to me is that when you plant a tree, you create a connection with nature. You remember nature. Sometimes we forget nature. So planting a tree is something really important and beautiful. And, and having the whole country doing that action, it's extraordinary. So this project is the sum of little good turns, like mine, like Byron Enriquez, who was my scout leader, or Ivan Peruano, who was the national um, director of scouts in that time, the, the Minister of Environmental, the people, companies like Nestle that uh, support the project too. Um, so I hope that this chain of good turns inspire you, like the action of that boy inspired Mr. Voice, and you can feel motivated to know more about scouting movement and feel in love in the same way I did because it's a movement that not only protects nature, but also can change the world. Thank you so much.